Oh, now it's just, now oh. it's puking. puking. Yeah. Ran. This thing ran 140 miles. No problem. No problem. Ugh. Sick. <laughs> Did that hose just blow up? No, it's coming from the overflow. Yeah, no, it goes honestly, straight to the ground. It could have been doing that for the, the whole, whole time. time and we didn't know. We've been officially here for 18 minutes and 49 seconds. We haven't even done a full lap. We haven't done a full half lap. Hey. We half a lap. Hey. And uh, here we are. We made it. No, we yeah, made, we made it. it. We it's made weird. it. This, to us, this is making it. We're here, Detroit, Michigan, for the Woodward Dream Cruise. And if you missed last episode, you missed us picking up this beautiful land yacht right here. It's 1964 Oldsmobile 98. Drove it from Ohio back here, had a few problems, stopped at Summit, fixed it. But we're here now, it's Saturday. It's time to cruise. Well, boys, we're officially uh, at Woodward. 24 hours. Yeah, 20. We've flown across the country, procured a vehicle, fixed In a different vehicle. state, yeah. fixed said vehicle in a parking lot, drove through the night in the rain without a top. And hail. And we're here, the Woodward Dream Cruise. Woodward Avenue is 24 miles long, extending from Detroit to Pontiac, Michigan. It's one of the most important roads in the history of the automobile. The first street racing ticket was written here in 1895. In 1909, it became America's first paved road. In 1919 it was the site of the first three-color traffic light. It wasn't until the 1950s where Woodward cemented its place in hot rock history. Multiple drive-in restaurants made it the perfect venue for hopped up cars to cruise and race. It's rumored that the big three automakers used this road as an unofficial test site. By the peak of the muscle car era, 10 second cars would frequently rip down the strip. One standout was Jimmy Addison's 1967 487 Hemi powered Plymouth GTX, known as the Silver Bullet. Jimmy worked at a Sunaco station on Woodward, but legend has it that the car was a Mopar Skunk Works project. By the late 1960s, anti-cruising and loitering laws effectively shut down the racing. In 1995, the town of Ferndale started the Woodward Dream Cruise to raise money for a soccer field. The cruise has ran ever since, paying homage to the avenue's heyday. I've never been here. Have you I've been never here? been here. I've never been either. Yeah, we're going to be breaking our necks over here all day. <laughs> it would be cool though if it had a full quiet mode, like a whole extra set of pipes on the other side. Because sometimes it's nice to be quiet. Am I getting old? You're getting old. You're getting it's old. okay though. I'm old. First time I ever got my, do my doors blown off by one of those, I had no idea what it was. What is it? It's a, do it's a Dodge Omni GLH, which stood for Go Like Hell. And uh, Carroll Shelby built it. What Things quick. Name. They made like, they were turbo motors. So I want to say they had like 180, 190 horse, which was a lot for that era. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want none. He don't want none of this. He doesn't want none. We don't want another 394 high Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Up. Up. In Ohio for 3500 bucks. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, OG 3X, OG triple OG. Man, one thing I miss about living in the Midwest is seeing like almost every five liter Mustang with slicks and skinnies on it. Yeah, makes and littles. <laughs> yeah. Aesthetic tune up right now. This yeah. thing is leaking oh, man, something yeah. serious, yeah. but it leaves like a nice three inch, four inch diameter mark. Oh, that's new. Oh, sick. <laughs> so, Skyro, how are you feeling? Like, this is deja vu. This is like how it used to be. Like, everything's good until the minute you get there. Yeah. Maybe we'll scout a spot. Maybe we could just. Yeah, we just post up. <laughs> but people come to us. <laughs> yeah. We've been officially here for 18 minutes and 49 seconds. We haven't even done a full lap. We haven't done a full lap. Not. All it needs is more fluid. We're good. Hot Rod Classic. They gave us some, gave us some good, good stuff. stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can uh, put some sawdust in there or something. You know? like, it's not that tranny leak. Or is that rear ends on Uh, Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> you're not going to put that in there. Oh, wow. You're really brave. You're trying to do that right now? Okay. Some shit's on the water. Just let it go. Just let it go for a little bit. Let it relieve its pressure. Will it cool off? Driver a little bit. See what let happens. it cool off again next time it happens. Yeah, and then we let it cool off and then we put a gauge in it. Just so at the end of the day we can drive it. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Damn, Gen 4. Like, look. We that stayed right. Sauce pipe right there. Get in there. Dang. It's like a gambler oh, car. Man, that thing is sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sick. Yes. 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 <laughs> Are you guys again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that a snowboard? Is a wing? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice move right there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need some stickers? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. Definitely. Found a foot lock. You got it now, so you won't die. We're afraid Zach's gonna fall out on, in parade mode, yeah. so he's got his foot wedged underneath the seat, so he doesn't fly out. White castles, stop him there. In 1921, Billy Ingram opened the first White Castle in Wichita, Kansas, subsequently inventing fast food restaurants and hamburger sliders. Their delicious 100% beef burger is affectionately and aptly known to their loyal fans as a belly bomber. While still primarily a Midwest-based institution, White Castle found much success in the New York City area. In 2015, the company moved west, opening a store in Las Vegas. There are still no White Castle locations in California, much to the chagrin of Hoonigan Chief Creative Officer, Brian Scotto. But today, White Castle fries do come in more than one size. Word to the Beastie Boys. Yo. White Castle? My favorite thing. They don't have it on the West Coast. Is that your first White Castle experience in your life? I'm happy I could be here for you. Yeah, the wizard. Yeah, that's that's old me. That's old you. It's old me. I'm All denim. Not even legal. White hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> All right, so we've gone half a lap. Car puked a little bit. Had a hubcap fall off. Had, had a flag fall off. We're, we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing way better than I thought we were gonna do. Luxury, elegance. Limousine quality interior. This is what classic Detroit steel is all about. This is what this car is the reason why Detroit was at the top of the game in the 60s. Cars like this. But if you guys want to see cars like this again, go on Oldsmobile's Instagram and let them know.
<laughs> yeah. Go spam the Oldsmobile's page. That <laughs> doesn't exist. <laughs> Okay, so the car died, overheated. That was good. It won't even crank. Oh, shit. She's <laughs> heavy. Well, this thing's uh, heavy. Yeah. 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 It's almost 5,000 pounds. Yes. It is 5,000 pounds, I'm sure, with all the stuff in it. Yeah, it actually rolls easier than almost every other car at the garage, though. Well, that's because it doesn't have a welded dip. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. We actually got it over here. Yeah, in the shade. shade. I, I the would say let's just sit in here and let it cool and go uh, go check out the show. Yeah. I usually like my old trucks to look old. All right, here we go. Donk breakdown number one. Hulkamania Continental Mark IV two-door drop top. It's not a Donk. Donk is only 71, 75. Paula or Caprice. Oh, I did not yeah. know that. You just ain't you just calling everything with big wheels and dogs. That's yeah. not true. Okay, well see, I didn't know that. I just I did. widely referred to everything as it. Yeah, I, mean, I did literally write the book on it. But hey, style points, flags, got two flags on it, two flags, got dice, more style, got sounds, and it looks like he's got a tablet on the dash, so. So we see flashing lights down there. Yeah, I, I think we might be getting towed. Oh, look, it's on a flatbed. They oh, shit. They just pulled it away. Uh, they just took it away on a flatbed. They can't go far. I'm going to run to try and save our car. No. Our car's still there. We're good. Still here. I thought she was gone. <laughs> and the title's in the glove box. Not sure how I'd be able to prove it's mine. Man. Well, Close call. Yeah. Whew. All right. You think she starts? She still start. Let's put some water in it though. That was like a like six block run too. Was... Dude, that had me sweating. Yeah, I was like, uh, all of our stuff's in the car, and like I said, Scott said, the title's in there, so we couldn't prove it's ours. Okay. All right. Let's see if it. Uh... Oh. Okay. Sounds a little rough. Well, it's not really getting much gas. Look at that, it's getting... There you go, it's just clearing itself out. Sounds great. Let's ride. Hey, 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 wow. we drove this here. Yeah. It, it might have broken down once or twice, but it made it. Fly here, big boy? <laughs> you could fit a lot of bodies in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no top. Yeah. Way to enter texture. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, it's consistent. You want to try it out? You sit in it? Yeah. Put yourself in there. Getting your leg under the steering wheel. Oh, God. Fun, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is great. Let's close this. See that? Oh, yeah. Trade the Audi in, man. I'm ready. Yeah. Look at that. you. There's some air of luxury with this vehicle. Are you we kidding me? Look how dope this thing is. If you drove it, you'd actually realize this it is... This is like the, the, the Maybach of its day. Yeah. It kind of is. It, yeah. it is, the, it is definitely the Maybach, Maybach of its day. By the way, I, I appreciate the proper pronunciation. Yeah, it's not Maybach, it's Maybach. Yeah. Well, don't tell Maybach music that. Check that out. Dual, dual ashtrays. Oh, hold on. Look in the back. Dual cigarette lighters for your kids. Oh, no. so wow, they, both do, sides. they too can smoke. So what what's up? Y'all got the full trailer and you got some you got some cars going over here. Oh yeah, man. We we got the full spread over there. It's it's car blanche, man. It's it's a great setup. Should we take a tour? Yes, Dave. Come, come on. Come on.
some also here, some Bronco action here. So we took a throwback. Fan favorite. Everyone loves Broncos, right? A Bronco's like, when you see a Bronco, it's like seeing a dolphin in the ocean. Yeah. You gotta stop and take pictures. That's <laughs> so we got the, we got the livery here, the teal and blue, the scallop, uh -huh. so very consistent. Falcon heritage here. Uh, this bad boy, you can open that up. Smell that, that. smell that, mm. that robust leather there. The allure of that wood. That's, that's real napple. That's nice stuff that's right there. Damn, son. Yeah. And just to kind of go back to being a tire manufacturer, we put our MTs on this. Okay. So representing that, that Wild Peak MT. Yeah, well, thanks for hanging to this. There we have, man. Yeah. kicking it. Thanks for coming to our booth, man. That's of course. Stuff right there. Tell us what you brought here to Woodward. This is my P51D. Built it at the beginning of the year uh, as a demo car for Roush. It's only suitable for drift use? That's right. That's it. Just suitable. Won't even idle. Suitable. <laughs> Won't even idle if you're in traffic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's got like the P51 interior, uh, kind of like the bomber jacket brown. Yeah. It's fancy, dude. Yeah. You got yeah. fancy cars. Some raised uh, 57 CRs on it with some Falcon tires, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you got. Is that kind of crazy to think about putting rays on a Mustang? I feel like I'm the one to do it though. Like Ooh, if anybody was to do it, I, like that. I would be the one to do it. I like so that. I did it. That's smart. All right. Oh, headphone, headphone users beware. Yeah, headphone users, you didn't give me a warning though, buddy. That was like, it wasn't that bad to the very top of the note and then it burned my ears. It's got a, it's got a bite to it. Yeah, it does. Pro tip from JTP, shenanigans. North. Northway, North shenanigans. Awesome. Well, thanks, dude. We just came off the uh, Woodward Main Strip. We're taking the back street down, or we're taking back streets down to actually go further north so we can get up to like where the, like, all the main action is because apparently that's where shit goes down. We can't obviously idle this thing Too miles much. and miles. And a lot of Woodward's a parking lot, especially headed north, so. Yeah. Cruising the back roads. But yeah. she's still running. Yeah. It's got a little it's, hot. It's what, 7 o'clock, 7.30? Yeah. So we're going to make it into nightfall with this thing. Do you think Diplomat is a solid name, or do you like I mean, Pablo? The, or names, like... the names that have been thrown out right now, right, is Vanilla Float. Vanilla Float? Oh, okay. Cruise, uh, missile. Cruise Missile. The Diplomat. And Pablo Esco Car. They're all solid, though. They're all solid. They're all solid. They're all solid. They're all solid. Why yeah. don't, tell you what, why don't you pick, vote below in the comments what you think this car should be named. By the way, Pablo Esco car is a car cane reference, if you didn't know. So Scotto's not saying anything, but he's basically seeding it as that should be the name of it. <laughs> yeah! That, first of all, that's a middle-aged white guy driving a <laughs> proper lowrider. And yeah. driving it proper, too. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love about cars, it brings everyone together. Like, you drive around here, everybody's out, everyone's having a good time, no one's beefing. It's like, blends all together. To quote Killer Mike, the gasoline hobby is diversity, it brings everyone together. Whoa, look at Vet Row. Whoa, whoa, Vet whoa. Vet Row. See, like, yo. Okay. And we're a good four blocks off of Woodward right now. Got a 58 there. Dude, you gotta, nice. you gotta, you got one, two, Three and four gen. It's probably his collection. He probably owns them all. That's a car came problem right there. Yeah. You buy that many of the same car, that's like a whole other level. Nighttime is the right time. So we're cruising up Woodward, heading north towards Pontiac. Apparently, that's where all the party goes down. There's been a basically a full on onslaught of V8s and loud cars just cruising up this way, so we're gonna see what we can get into. Get you some! That Did not all. see that coming. <laughs> Yo, the sleeper OBS. This is badass. We got like a that bitching Camaro ahead of us. Got that G body to the left. Oh. Just straight Monte Carlo in. This thing is fresh. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh, look at it in front of it. Oh. Yeah. This thing is sick. Okay. Okay. This. Oh, this thing's too yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Yo, yo, wrap it for us.
Yes. Detroit Chop City. Yeah. Nice. There's just so much chop going on. So much. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'm afraid if it all chops at the same time, the harmonics are going to break the road. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like Gallop and Gertie, the bridge. Burn out if you're American. Yeah. Let them know. Yeah. Let them know, brother. Hey. Oh, no, shit. Yeah, what up? What's up, oh, yeah? Hey. You can sit on the car real quick. Yeah, just jump on, <laughs> jump on, jump on, come on. There we go. What's up, man? Oh my god. Don't you get hurt. What's up, dude? Yeah, here. <laughs> What's your name? Mike Wilson. Oh my god, dude, you guys are amazing. Can I shake your guys' hand? Yeah, of course, brother. Hey man, good to meet you. Good fun. <laughs> right on. Hey, have a good night. See you, bud. Be See safe. Ya. Don't get run over, please. I love that the one dude standing out on the side of the street by himself with a piece of poster board that says to do a burnout if you're American is a fan of our show. <laughs> like that's, like he's there by himself. He wasn't with a crew of people. Yeah. He's doing it for the cause. No, Scott, that's you. <laughs> that was rad. Get it. It's a nice GC8, I like it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that thing's. Oh! Yeah. 32. 32s? God damn. That's awesome right here. I see it. Look at that. Look at that. Uh uh. All right, so we pulled over here at a gas station. It started raining on us a little bit, but we figured this was an ample time to pull over and let the car cool down because, uh, well, let's face it, we've been idling through traffic and uh, it's not got the best track record of staying cool. It's doing okay. It's got, it got hot once. Yeah. A pro tip, you want to get off a lot when you're on the cruise route because otherwise you only see the same cars that are cruising with you. you got to, like, reset your position a lot. So we're going to drive... Back down Woodward in the rain, so we have to go. We're going back down anyway, so, but it's raining. So we're gonna poncho up, sit in the cruise missile. I mean, this is the right way for it to end. Yeah, it's good. And we're gonna cruise all the way back down Woodward, all the way back down the south side of the rain. Is it available online yet? Yeah, they're available. Now. Oh, yeah. We'll find out. So, shame with the again. Yeah, cop your poncho, hoonigan.com, you know. Stay dry, It'll stay fly. Just in case you too want a car that doesn't have a roof like us Brainiacs. We managed to get all the way through the Woodward Dream Cruise. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's raining. You know what? I couldn't think of a better way to end this. Could you, Scott? Ow! Yeah. <laughs> Burning his Burn hand on the manifold. Oh, oh, Not the... fun. And I think we've wrapped it up ourselves. So you know what? I feel like we should let the good people of Woodward do it for oh, us. Yeah. Give it to them. That's a wrap! That's, That's a wrap! That's a wrap! That's a wrap! Are rapping for us or what? So I'm walking by. I'm no, walking no, you gonna rap it. Rap what? We need a that's a rap, bro. I need a beat. I need a producer, man. What are you talking about? I'm not a rapper. No, no, that's a rap. Like what we do in every video at the very oh, end. I thought you were talking about literal rapping. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>